Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this coupon code UI to your Blogger website. Now in my previous video, I had shown you how to design this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So if you want to learn how to design this from scratch, you can watch that video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code to your website. Now this is how it works. By default, we will have this button over here. And when I click on this button, we will have this uh, coupon UI pop-up displayed over here. Now you can go ahead and change these messages and uh, all these things over here to whatever you want. And then you can add your discount coupon over here and you can add the link of your product page over here in this button. And then we have this close button over here and if I click on that, we can see that the coupon UI disappears. So this is what we're going to add in our blogger website. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, this is our blogger website. Let's go to the dashboard of our blogger website. And if I go over here to theme, we can see that I'm using this theme called Contempo Light. Alright, now let's add this uh, discount coupon inside a post. So let's click on new post. And here for the title, I'll just type huge discount or something like that. And now here we will add the code. So the first thing you have to do is go into the HTML view. So it will be in the compass view by default. So you have to click on this button and go to the HTML view. Now here we can paste the HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript. So let's go to our source code. And this is the source code of our website. So let's copy all the HTML first. So I'll just copy from here and we'll copy it till here. And let's paste it inside our blogger post. So I'll just go back to our blogger post and let's paste it over here. All right, now the next thing we will do is add the CSS. So let's scroll up and here I'll just create a style tag. And here in the style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the style.css file. And I'll just select everything and copy it from here. And let's go back to our post and let's paste it over here. And the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So here, I'll just create a script tag. So here, I'll just type script and close it over here. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And let's copy everything from here and let's paste it over here inside the script tag. Now let's click on publish and let's see how it looks and confirm. Right now let's open this post so let's click on view. Right now here we can see we have this button and let's click on this button. And we have this pop-up displayed over here but we have some problems in the design. The first thing is that the images are not being displayed over here. And the next thing is that we don't have enough margin between these elements over here. And the last thing we need to fix is the color of this code. So it should be a dark color. I think it should be the same color as this text over here. Alright, so let's make those changes. The first thing we will do is so we will see what's the problem with the margin of this element over here. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And here we can see we have this division with the class of discount. And let's scroll down in the CSS and let's see what is causing the problem. Now here we can see we have some default styling for the theme. So for the post body, we have a line height of 1.6m. So if I remove this line height, we can see that it fixes the problem. So we have to unset the line height of this discount element over here. And then we need to change the color of this text over here for the code. So here we can see we have this division with the class of code. And here we can see in the theme itself, we already have some color set over here. So we have to add some color to this uh, code division. So let's do that in our CSS. Let's go back to our post and let's open the post. And let's scroll down and let's go to the discount. So here in the discount, we need to set the line height to unset. So I just type line height unset. And then we need to add a color to the code. So let's see what's the color of the heading. So let's copy this line of code from here. And let's scroll down and uh, let's paste it over here. And now for the images, we need to add the SVG code inside the HTML itself. So if you go back and if we scroll down, we can see that we are adding an image tag and in that we are adding the source of the image. So we have to remove this line of code from here and we have to add the SVG code. So let's go back to our source code. Here we can see inside the images folder, we have these two SVGs. 
So we are adding the link of those images over here. So let's go inside the SVG and here we can see the code of the SVG. So let's copy all of this from here and let's go back and uh, let's paste it over here. So this is uh, the code for the BG SVG. So I'll just remove this line of code from here and paste it over here. And then we need to get the SVG of the gift. So let's go back and uh, let's open the gift SVG and let's copy everything from here and let's go back and I'll just delete this line of code and let's paste the SVG over here. Now if you go back to our index.html file, we can see that we are adding this class called bg for this bg.svg and a class called gift for gift.svg. So let's go back and let's add those classes so that we have the correct styling. So here for this SVG, I'll just type class and I'll just type gift. And then for this SVG, I'll just type class and this is the bg. So I'll just type bg. Right now, let's update this and let's see whether it solves the problem. Let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page. All right now, let's click on this button. And we still have some problems with the line height of the elements. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And what we will do is we will add some default line height. So let's select all the elements. So here we can see that we have a selector where we are selecting all these elements. And what we will do is we will add some line height over here. So I'll just type line height and let's add a line height of, uh, let's say 1.3 or something. I think this looks all right. And the last thing we will do is we will set the position of this coupon container to fixed. So right now we can see when we scroll down and up, we can see that the coupon container also moves, but we want it to have a fixed position. So let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's select the coupon container. So I'll just select this and here instead of position relative, I'll just type position fixed. And now we need to set the position. So I'll just set the left position to zero and the right position to zero so that it is in the center. And we'll also set a top position of, I think, uh, 30 pixels. Let's increase it a little bit. I think uh, 70 pixels looks all right. And we'll also add a Z index. So I'll just type Z index. And let's set it to some higher value. So I'll just type 200. Now you can go ahead and change these values to your needs. All right now let's add these changes to our CSS. So I'll just copy these four lines of CSS. And let's go back to our CSS. And here for the coupon container, I'll just set the position to fixed. And I'll just paste the lines of code. And we need to remove this position relative from here. And the next thing we need to do is add the line height. So here I'll just type line height. And let's set it to 1.3, I think. And now we can go ahead and remove this line of code. Line height set to unset. And I think these were all the changes we had to make. So let's click on update. And let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page. And now let's click on this button. And now we can see we have this uh, pop-up display over here and everything looks all right. Let's click on this close button and we can see it disappears. So now you can go ahead and make changes to this data and you can add your code. And uh, this is an anchor tag. So if you go back to our post, here we can see this is an anchor tag. You can add the link of your product over here in place of this hash. So that's basically how you add a coupon code UI to your blogger website. All right, that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.